We went, we came here for a date and uh, enjoyed the atmosphere and, uh, and then just kind of heard that it was uh, available and, and for sale and so we thought, well, I, I think we can do that. Yeah, and yeah. his mom was, was friends with the chef that just came on board and so she let us know that it was for sale and we kind of looked at each other and we said, we love the tasting room, we'd love to try to take it over and that's yeah. what we did. Yeah. Our first steps were really just coming together with the current owners and making an offer and talking it out and just seeing if it was feasible. Jason has a background in small business. He's had small businesses for 12 years. Yeah. And I have the marketing side of things and from doing TV and everything. So we thought we that we thought, would be a good fit. I think our focus is going to be, uh, we like the idea of events and, and using the, the atmosphere um, uh, to entertain others. And um, so I think that's one of our We're both really into focuses. jazz as well. Yeah. Live music, we really want to spotlight local jazz and the Great American Songbook is one of my great loves. So anyone who comes in and sings that, you know, they're hired. And also spotlighting more, we're having some local wine days in here because yeah. we really want to spotlight the best of the valley. And, you know, just working together with winemakers all over California and internationally. One thing we're really excited about is partnering with Fresno Sister Cities committees and especially Verona, Italy. So we're going to spotlight local art, which we just got in. We're so excited to put up and also getting the local winemaker from Verona to come in, pour wine, talk about things and we'll have a dinner. We're hoping that that's going to come together this fall. We're really excited about that but really doing things that spotlight Fresno and our community and welcoming everyone in.